does not love a good taco? Well, we have a healthy take on that this morning, thanks to our friends, Team Fit Forever, as part of the My Best Me Journey. So here being the ringleader is Miss Allison with Naked Foods, and of course our contestant Mary and Dr. Corey stuck around with yeah. us. All right, so let's get started. Tell us what we're doing. All right, we're gonna make chicken lettuce wrap tacos with a pineapple salsa. This is super easy. We actually just made everything here right now mm -hmm. in the past 10 minutes. So you could make this at home right after work and not be too stressed out about it. Um, so what we did was we chopped up two chicken breasts that were raw into very small bite-sized pieces. We sauteed it in the cast iron skillet with a little bit of coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And then we added some salt and pepper. And we're gonna finish the seasoning with a mix of paprika, garlic powder, and cumin. So it's just one tablespoon of each of those on two chicken breasts. And you're being very generous with that, so we don't I need to be am. scared of it, right? Yeah, don't okay. be scared of it. You want a lot of seasoning on this because it's going to continue to simmer in here for about another five minutes. Um, if you don't have enough moisture in here, you could add like a fourth of a cup of water just so it coats the chicken. So we'll let that finish simmering in here, and I'm going to add the rest of that. Mary is going to put together our pineapple salsa. So we have a... To a cup of diced pineapple, and we used real pineapple. You want to use the fresh pineapple, it's so much better. Mm -hmm. um, we have a whole avocado that we diced, a cup of tomatoes, and a cup of green peppers. Let's so mix it in. Yeah. I'm glad you're doing that because that's a small bowl with a lot of ingredients. I would have it all over the place. That's what I was thinking. So as part of your journey, you know, you've had Allison helping you with prepping meals, but then also teaching you recipes. Mm -hmm. How has that helped with your meal prep? It's been great. I already had a good like sense of what I needed to eat. You know, my mom's always cooked healthy, but she has great new ideas that we've never done before, that are always easy and healthy. And so she added more cilantro, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add some lime juice and salt, and that Perfect. will finish out the salsa. That's a really simple salsa. I like Super that. Super easy. It's going to be really beautiful on top of these tacos too. There we go. So we're going to use the juice from one whole lime. So it might seem like a lot, but I'm not putting lime juice in anything else. So we really want to have that citrus and that zest in here. Mm -hmm. I can smell that acid. seasoning starting to open up now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we were talking about, you know, Mary having oh, this Jesus. great, you know, meal prep and plan and then food as well. And Dr. Corey, as you work with your clients at CrossFit 1099 and Centered Health and Wellness, you yeah. know, we can't outwork a bad diet. How important is this? Diet's huge. Diet's more than half of your workout, in my opinion, honestly. If you're, if, especially with CrossFit, it's not, it's not fitness if you're not working on nutrition. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And if you really want the goals you're looking for, it's, it's vital, honestly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we talk to people about nutrition logs and just understanding what they could do better. You know, what, what things they have, like, and that's what Allison's great for. She can give them alternatives to things that um, they really find is like those are those feel good meals. We can find alternatives for them. So, yeah, because everyone wants to eat tacos and Mexican food. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's one of my favorites. And I don't always want to eat the corn tortillas though. They just don't have a ton of benefits. We lost a piece. I'll save it. Oh, Sorry. There you go. <laughs> they don't have a ton of benefits, so we're gonna use um, romaine lettuce today. Super okay. easy. It's the same shape as a taco. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna put lettuce on tacos anyways. So here we go. Um, so we're going to finish making the sriracha cream. Sriracha cream. All that is is non-fat um, Greek yogurt. It's like the whole small container of that. We got this from uh, Trader Joe's. Okay, so that's like what six ounces? Is that what it says? Maybe. Let's see. This is five point three. Five point three. Ounces. Okay. It's about a cup if you want to measure it that way. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, just non-fat Greek yogurt, and then about a tablespoon of the sriracha into that and it makes this nice sort of sour cream like yeah. sauce um, but it doesn't have any fat and actually has protein and probiotics in it so you're getting Perfect. some good benefits mm -hmm. instead of eating sour cream. See I love sour cream. I do so I do that's, too. that's I do good. Too. I need a... I'm making a mess over here. It's <laughs> alright. I'm, I'm a messy cook too so <laughs> that's perfectly messy. fine. Mm -hmm. Okay and then we're gonna put together the taco. I'm gonna let you guys do that together. How much can you do sriracha to taste or? Yeah, if you want more or less, that's totally fine. Perfect. Um, that, a tablespoon for a cup is a really good ratio where you're going to get the flavor, but it's not going to light your mouth on fire. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to add more and have it be more spicy, then by all means. I don't, but some people yeah. might. <laughs> I can't do spicy. Yeah. All right, so, so is there a trick the to assembling these? I mean, it's really just trying to fit everything in there without breaking the lettuce and you can all, you can eat as many of these as you want really so oh, perfect. you could make right. a bunch of little small ones which is always nice if you're dieting to feel like you're eating a little bit more yes <laughs> um 
Because the calories on this is very low. I'm making a mess. No, that's okay. You're supposed to make a mess. <laughs> and if all else fails, turn it into a taco salad. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just cut that lettuce up Just and cut eat everything it. Yeah. up. I was going to say, Mary, I think you've done this before. You, you were very intricate with your chicken placement. It looks good. <laughs> So this is just one of, you know, an example of something that maybe we could find on the menu at Naked Foods, yeah. you know, and some of the yeah. recipes. Yeah, we're going to do this share. as a special coming up soon. But we have a lot of things um, on the menu that kind of have that um, flair to them. That they have a little bit of spice. We use sr sriracha a lot. We use lime and avocado a lot. So we oh, like things that are like that. Healthy, healthy food like can be flavorful yes. and That's fun. That's, yes. I think this important thing. I think a lot of people get stuck in their minds that it's not flavorful to yeah. be healthy. These could be a great appetizer for a party that you're going to as well, mm -hmm. um, and a fun little thing to do at you Thumbs know up. when you're watching oh, a game Thumbs or whatever. <laughs> like? All right, mm, well, Super Bowl is right around the corner. But all right, thanks for joining us this morning, guys. If you want to follow along with Team Fit Forever, you can do so on WDEF.com and all of your social media channels. Search My Best Me Chat with two T's. If you want to try food like this, visit Allison at Naked Foods, and of course, you can always join Mary with Dr. Corey at CrossFit 1099. Yay. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for Keep eating. It's all right. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.